Well, thanks for stopping by. It's a really good occasion for us to, uh, to welcome the uh, Zadorov family to the city of Boston. Um, and we're very excited to be adding uh, Nikita to our hockey club. So again, uh, I want to make sure that we get photo opportunity. Uh, upside down 16, yeah, so I wore 16 my whole life pretty much, uh, the teams I can. It's, uh, like I said, it's a, it's a worst part of playing the original 16 because a lot of numbers are retired and taken, a lot of history, obviously. So when I got traded to Vancouver, we were thinking about the number two because 16 retires well, uh, over there as well, and so uh, 91 was good. It was a good year for us. So we decided to go with that. I know Mark Savard wore it. He was my coach last year, so I got to take Savvy. Uh, I stole his number. <laughs> Did you spend all your off season in the States? In Florida, yeah. No. Yeah, that's our home. We're building a house there. Been there for the past eight off season. Got a great setup there, working out, skating, a lot of guys. So, yeah, we're enjoying it. Do you go back to, to Russia at all? We used to go. Um, probably for a couple of weeks every year when before the war started. Now it's kind of pretty difficult to do, so, yeah. If I can take you back 10 years, your first NHL goal came against the Bruins. Do you have any specific memories of that goal? Or can you well, I, rem I remember the goal, yeah. Uh, uh, Marshy was on the ice. <laughs> he took a minus, so that's happy. I'm going to let him know. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, it's your first NHL goal. It's a memory until the rest of life. I have a puck. I have a full frame of the puck and everything. So it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a cool memory. You mentioned last week uh, you had kind of a background with Jim in Denver. Can you expand on that at all? He backskated me for a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> he was uh, coaching uh, Denver University. And I was spending, we were spending our summer in uh, Denver for a little bit. And... It was just another place to skate, kind of. So he was uh, welcoming some NHL guys to skate with his uh, team as well. So we had a few NHL guys skating there for camp for a couple of weeks. It was cool, for sure. Did he leave an impression on you from that uh, play? Yeah, we spoke a couple of times. Like I said, I uh, feel like he's a really good person to talk to. And you can see the, like I said, the guys love playing for him. You know, you hear, like, we all talk around the league. The guys talking about coaches organizations and like I said before there's I probably spoke to like 10 15 people before making a decision to sign here and I haven't heard a bad thing about the organization or coaching stuff or the city or how uh, people get treated here and I feel like it fits the mentality for me as well win or nothing you know what I mean I feel like this city is so culturally in, in engage into the sport uh, like you look at the, all four teams in here, they've all been winning, they've all been championship, and fans expect you to win every year. So I like that, I like the pressure, and I think it drives me. You have a lot of NHL seasons under your belt now. What, what's the biggest area of growth in your game, and what's the biggest area where you still want to grow? Consistency. I think it's the most important thing for D-man. Uh, I think it took me some time to figure some stuff out on the ice when you don't want to be a high-risk player. You want to be more consistent how you prepare yourself for the game. There's a lot of things for a D-man to, especially my size. Um, it's I'm pretty noticeable on the ice when I'm playing bad, and I'm pretty noticeable when I'm playing good. So I'm trying to find this sweet spot in the middle. So, um, like, Joe Sakic was my GM a few years back, and he told me, Lidstrom was always saying, it's like, you can have a... Out of the 10 games, you have eight A games, and then you have two B games. Then you're going to be a really good defenseman in this league, so you have to focus on that. So for me, it's it took me some time to 
adjust myself, how I prepare myself for the game, how I mentally preparing, physically, um, practices and everything, it's all combined to be a successful, consistent defenseman in this league. So I think with past coaches, past three coaches, uh, they were able to help me with that a lot.